Hello and welcome to another video from Ethereal Gaming and here we are back in World of Tanks and again in our Leo. Now we've been playing quite a lot of the Leo recently as we grind our way on the road to the Kranwagen. Not only does the Leo unlock the Emil 1, the head next heavy tank in the line, it actually also unlocks uh, the tier 8 of the medium line in the UDES. So we're playing quite a lot of the Leo, so we've got quite a lot of uh, footage and gameplay. And actually one thing I wanted to talk about today is um, fighting to your last HP. So um, often I see uh, early in the game somebody will take quite a lot of damage and then retreat to the back of the map and almost play no further part in the battle. And um, I think there's a, a, an opportunity here where if you do go down to your ha uh, last HP or your last few HP, you do want to still contribute because you're still there trying to earn experience and still trying to there to do damage and um, there are things that you can do ways that you can play while a little bit more cautiously retreating to the back of the map may not be uh, the best way to do it and even a tank with one hp left is still a gun in the battle is still a tank that can spot in the battle uh, often from uh, safe locations so I wanted to dive into some gameplay uh, to look at that kind of what you do when you lose so much HP quickly uh, and how you can still have an impact on the game. Uh, the Leo itself, um, it doesn't have much HP really. It's tier seven medium tank, 1,100 hit points, but with 70 hull armor on the front, 70 turret armor on the front, 30 uh, on the sides and 20 on the back. Um, it's not stopping very much so if you are getting into a firefight you can certainly expect that you may well be taking quite a bit of damage in the Leo and I think you're going to see that fairly early on in the gameplay we're about to dive into so let's jump into that gameplay and see what happened. Right, so we're on the map of Safe Haven and we're in a pretty favourable match. We are top tier, four tier sevens, a bunch of tier sixes and tier fives. And um, we're in our Leo, fairly good mobility from the Leo, not quite as much as that light tank who's zooming off there, but we've got pretty good uh, speed and maneuverability. And straight away, we're gonna get ourselves into a nice forward position uh, in the middle of the map. Now we've got the speed to get there in time and should we meet uh, any enemies given that we're top tier with a decent amount of alpha damage we can at least um, do a pretty good uh, show of defending ourselves so we're rushing into that middle position to give our guys who are going also up into the hills and there are quite a few um, that forward position where you can begin to spot the enemy and push them back on that um, eastern flank where we are uh, looking to poke into now so I'm just coming around the corner looking to see um, if we can spot any enemy up on the hill now I didn't expect to see anyone that quick because um, obviously it takes a bit of time for people to get up there but we have now spotted that VK302 and already um, that spotting is paying off in that we're, our team are getting some damage a Stug 3 also spotted at the top there, and now also a T50-2. So now we're expecting just to spot, duke it out, put a few shots into people, and wear them down here until I can get a good spotting. But what's this? A T50-2 comes flying over the hill and uh, comes down after us. Now we, uh, a little bit, he's pretty fast. We get a shot. We do hit him, but it's one of those critical zero damage hits, and our T50-2 manages to crash and now I'm gonna follow this guy I'm pretty confident that we can do some serious damage to him with our 300 alpha damage and we follow him behind and he might be fast but we're not that slow in a Leo so we've chased him down we've hit him for 300 we have now reloaded I'm just checking to make sure nobody came down to follow him and unfortunately for him his team did not follow and support him and we come around the corner and uh, he's not fast enough to get away from us and we put a shot and finish the T50-2 off. So I'm feeling pretty good now. We've uh, finished off the T50-2, we've got some damage on the VK. So we've done 777 damage, all the sevens, and we're still two and a half minutes into the match and we've taken no damage. Pretty happy with that, but what's this? A VK has come round and flanked us. We get a shot into the VK. He is now one shot, I am gonna stay here take the hit and we do manage to bounce it at a glance but 307 is a possible one shot we come around the corner we get a shot but we roll low and unfortunately 
it doesn't finish him off and we do take another hit from the vk we do want to finish him off he's a top tier tank but again we take another hit due to our slow uh, reload and there's a there's a kv1 at the top there and we're seeing if we can get a shot into him got a good chance of getting it through but oh we hit the mantlet and we don't scratch him and then suddenly a p43 out of nowhere gets a shot takes our ammo rack and i had no idea where that p43 was and that's an absolute disaster for us we are now just over three minutes into the game and we're down to 246 hit points we have lost over 75 percent of our hit points um, and we are now thinking about what is it we can do we might be top tier but our armor is not going to help us but we can still look for other tanks we can spot and as you can see we're getting the spotting damage but also with some careful play looking at enemy tanks who are engaged fighting other tanks from our side you can get a shot on them um, when they aren't focusing or looking at you or on a tank like the SU-100Y there, you can um, wait until they fired, knowing that they can't shoot you because of their longer reload. Like that Emil, for example, he fired, also we were far enough down we could peek over. We could get a shot on him without taking any return fire. So yes, I'm playing more carefully, but I'm not removing myself from the battle by, taking, uh, by going all the way back to the red line. And again, you can still see here, we're getting spotting damage on that Tiger 1. Um, you know, many of these tanks we're facing right now, the SU-100 and so on, could one-shot us with that HP we have left. So we're continuing to play the game a little bit more cautiously, but we're continuing to have an effect, whether it's spotting or whether it's causing damage um, from tanks who are fighting other tanks. Chi knew around the corner I can see he is a one shot and one shot tanks would be particularly favorable um, because you can get that shot off and kill them uh, without being able to take any return damage now the Chi knew has disappeared having fought that t34 but a tiger one appears to be running from the battle down the hill and he will make a very good target he is he is running away with his turret facing in not in the direction of the enemy so we get a shot in the back there if i'd have been that tiger i'd have been running down the hill with my turret pointing backwards one to see if i could bounce and around and two maybe getting a random shot off on the move the chi knew is killed but we've now spotted an lefh and artillery definitely something i want to take out and we're able to finish him off so despite having lost those hit points earlier on we are now up to three kills and uh, 2,500 damage. And we're continuing to play a significant part of the battle, removing uh, enemies and their guns from the battle as well as putting some damage on that Tiger, killed by the E25 before we can get there. And we're now in a good position to win the game. Uh, there's two enemy tanks left. This will definitely be a win, but can we get some more damage uh, before the battle finishes? M M10, it's only a tier 5, but it's got a, a, a vicious rate of fire, but 70 hit points. It will also be a one-shot. We'll come around the corner. We can see he's focusing somebody else. This makes it an easy opportunity to wait for the aim time and make the shot count without taking any return fire. So we ended up there with four kills, 3,100 combined. Now, this certainly isn't the best game for the Leo in World of Tanks, but we lost over 75% of our hit points. Uh, very early on in the battle, having only killed that T50-2 and then had to duke it out with the VK, took the random hit from the P43, we didn't know where he was, but we still continued playing the game. Um, yes, we did that with support from our team, we weren't on our own, of course, if we were on our own, we'd have been rushed and overwhelmed, so it was more about playing smarter, but there was no running to the red line, so um, what, what I'm really saying here is, fight to that last HP. Let's jump back to the garage. Hey, here we are back in the garage with our Leo. So as I said there, um, the gameplay there was about what you can do with even just a few remaining hit points. Trading effectively, playing smarter, but not removing yourself from the game. And that applies right down to, to one hit point. The flip side to that is though, is on the enemy team, is that when you are uh, facing tanks often you know you're playing for damage you know you, you can do 
300 alpha damage or 400 alpha damage and you see there are two tanks in front of you one of them has got sort of 20 hit points left um, and one of them uh, you know has got all his hit points left and it's uh, it's often um, the mind is thinking well let's hit the tank with all his hit points left because I will get 400 or 300 damage from that shot uh, but in reality uh, the best choice of target is the one on the 20 hit points yes you will only get 20 damage but you've removed that tank from the game because say it works the other way that even a tank on one hit point is still a gun in the game it is still a tank that can spot in the game and it can still kill you and your teammates so always play to kill the tank where possible and that may well mean um, if a tank is around the corner, you know if you go round and and uh, and go after that tank, if he's a one shot, it might well be worth. And you've got plenty of hit points left. It might well be worth going round, taking a hit to remove that tank from the game. Though you'll have to judge that uh, on the circumstances that present at the time. It's not worth losing all your tank over. But if it means just taking one hit and removing a tank, it's probably worth it. So use all your hit points right to the last, right to the end of the game. Continue to be active. You even, you know, if you can work with other tanks on your team on full hit points, you're essentially, if you work with them and, and help them, you're giving them another gun. You're, you're sort of giving their tank back that extra bit of firepower or those extra bit of hit points, which can make all the difference. If you can remove a tank from the game by finishing him off, always do so even if you're not going to get much damage from it hopefully that's been a bit useful uh, and, and actually getting to see some of it in the gameplay if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs down let me know why you didn't like it and we'll look to improve you've been watching Ethereal Gaming and we'll see you on the battlefield <laughs>